Hello everybody! It is week three of the term and I hope everything is going well. I also hope that last week was productive for you all. I've talked to a few of you over the phone and via email and things seem to be proceeding nicely. It took me a couple days longer than I'd hoped, but I finally got through all those project proposals from History 790 and I am impressed with the projects and the amount of work you've put into them so far. I left some fairly lengthy comments on some of those, so please check out my feedback and let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Overall, the proposals were very strong. Uh, you've all done a lot of background research on your topics, and you generally have a good grasp on the history, history, history and the historiography of your topics. The most common issue I found was the thesis statement. Remember that a thesis is a one or two sentence statement of your argument. The thesis is not a statement where you tell me what your project is going to do. I often see statements like this project is going to discuss the causes of the War of 1812. Now this is a statement of purpose I suppose but it's not an argument. It's not a thesis statement. What are you going to say about the causes of the War of 1812? The answer to that is probably your thesis. A similar issue is where students pose research questions instead of providing a thesis. The research question is, well, the question that you want to answer. What were the causes of the War of 1812? Is a research question, but it's not a thesis. The answer to the question is your thesis. The War of 1812 was the result of John F. Kennedy's ongoing political rivalry with George Whitfield is a thesis. It's probably not a very good thesis, and but I would like to see someone prove that actually. So bonus points to anybody who can prove that it was the result of JFK's rivalry with Whitfield. Um, it's not too surprising that thesis statements are not as developed as they could be in the proposals. You still haven't finished your research and you haven't finished your writing, so you may not have reached strong conclusions yet, and that's okay. Your thesis will become stronger as you complete the project. There were a few other issues here and there, uh, so check check my feedback. Let me know if you have any uh, questions, concerns, or if I just don't make any sense, which is entirely possible. Okay, moving on to this week. Uh, this will be another light week where I want you to focus on the capstone project, but I would like you to check in on the discussion board. Uh, let us know how things are going with your project and see if you can offer any suggestion or advice to your colleagues there. Uh, I'll jump in too, whenever I can, uh, to help. Uh, while you're there, I suggest you also check out the general questions discussion board. You may want to consider subscribing to that forum uh, so that you'll receive updates when students post questions and when I post answers. There have been a lot of really good questions asked on that forum, and I don't want to say that my answers are really good, but hopefully they help. Um, so check that out. Uh, I am also going to post a massive list of do's and don'ts on um, major projects like the capstone. Uh, this list is a, item, is a bunch of items that I've accumulated in response to students' questions over the decades. So check that out. Feel free to comment, ask questions, and even make some suggestions for additions to that list if you like. Um, I will post that uh, probably today or tomorrow. So, you know, check that out also. Let me know what you think. And I think that pretty much covers what we're doing this week. Um, have a good and productive week. As always, let me know if you have any problems, questions, concerns. If you're running into any roadblocks or anything, let me know and I'll help you work through it. Oh, um, a couple of you submitted drafts to the optional check-in Dropbox last week. Uh, if I haven't offered feedback on that yet, uh, give me another couple of days and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, okay, I think that's it. I think I'm done. Um, I will see you all next week. Have a good week and keep in touch.